was when you and I cooked chicken yasa with your sister. Yeah. After, and when we ate it, he was so, like, it was just showering praises, and it just was so sweet. It was so Musa, I think, in that mm-hmm. moment. I don't think I could have done it without him. The fact that he was, like, kind of the go-between and could, like, communicate with all the families and all the students, like, it was amazing. Um, and he handled it, like, so gracefully, too. I think it was, like, a really good way to sort of connect myself more with my family when, like, the language barrier was too tough. Musa was one of the most wonderful people we met in Senegal. He was so helpful with teaching us Wolof. I learned so much from Musa. He always went out of his way to make, like, make you feel welcome. It made me realize that it's okay to be comfortable it's okay to challenge yourself the point of this trip is to challenge yourself he also made me realize a lot of qualities about it's okay to show you care you know it's it's okay to like feel soft all those things i would say he was to this day he's one of the most impactful people in my life i was born here in chess and also i grew up in chess so um uh, my childhood in Kes, there's a lot of things which is uh, very bright, but there is also things which are very dark, you know. I just realized that I haven't a father, you know, because my father passed away when I was two years old. So uh, I was educated as a boy who, who just have to do right things, you know. My mother also thinks if I fail, of her fault, you know, because the man who was there, who should be there to educate me, give me a lot, gives me a chance in life, wasn't there. So this is uh, something that is very strong with my childhood because I always try to be on the right path, you know, so that I don't disappoint people around so that I don't disappoint also mother. So at school, I tried to do my best. Even I wasn't uh, I, even I wasn't the best student, I always believe I should work hard, you understand? After the my baccalaureate, my dream was to go at Sheikh Antajob University in Dakar. Many bright students went there in Senegal. My mother was a very, uh, you know, a very brave woman because uh, at the, the first year, we don't have a scholarship. So my mother try each month to give me money, you understand, so that I can, I can buy the foods and the, the tickets and the transport. I, uh, I have chosen to do English because uh, I meet many international people in chess. I always love to exchange to exchange culture. When I was in my, in my hometown at chess, I tried a lot to help these people, okay, to have a good integration. So this is uh, very, very helpful uh, for my English. I see bright teachers that I love so much and they still influencing uh, the way I am thinking, you understand? I always grow up with children and loving them. Why not, uh, when I have knowledge, why not sharing this knowledge uh, with them? With the Dragon students, yes, uh, I was really happy to have them, to host them, to know them. And also the fact that Kyle and Allison come in the house and we all form, you know, like a group of family, trying also to understand each, each other. This is, you know, really, it was very, 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 very touching, you understand. What I want really to accomplish if I have the opportunity to come to the, to the United States is something that can help me to have more, you, an addition to my knowledge, to have an addition so that when I come back to Senegal, I can, uh, I can share and I can be useful. Useful for the kids, useful for the students, and give power to to the kids. You understand? Yes, that's it.